What is going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasage Pop. Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, it is Tuesday, so yeah, it is another edition of Top 5 Tuesday. So, today we are going to be looking at my top 5 most wanted Funko Pops. Now these are Funko Pops that I do not own, that I would love to own. Either they're really expensive or I was just not around to, to obtain them or whatever. So it's kind of, a, kind of a combination of the both. So I'm kind of going off of Stashpedia. It's pretty similar to like um, Pop Price Guide as far as like keeping track of prices and everything in your collection. Um, a really nice thing that I like in Stashpedia is that you can add uh, things to your wish list of things that you wish you had and then you can organize it into different things like alphabetically uh, by price and everything and it, it's really cool so we are going to go over a couple of different things um, coming in at number five is a disney pop it is from the Li original lion king line and it is scar now i wish i mean i was into collecting back in the day i, I believe it probably came out probably around like 2014 I would believe or 2013 would be my guess but right now Scar according to Stashpedia is going for $94 I just think he's the coolest one out of all of them to be honest with you I'd love to have all the other ones like Timon Pumbaa Simba and Rafiki I think that would be really cool as well um, but Scar would have to be the one that I would I really want to get like I said he's coming in at $94 I really just like all the Disney villains and everything and I just think he would be a really cool one to have so coming in at number four uh, it is another Disney pop. This one is exclusive, I believe, to Disneyland. It might have been at Disney World as well. Disney Parks exclusive. Um, and it is the Haunted Mansion Ghosts. There's a couple that are of a different price and everything, like the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Some of those go for about like $50 or $60. Um, some for $70. But the most expensive is the Hatbox Ghost. And according to this, it goes for $203. Now, and I would just think it would be really cool to have all these. They're glow in the dark as well, and I think just a really cool concept. I love how they combine theme park characters, like from the rides and everything, into pops. And I just think it would be a really cool thing to have. So that is coming in at my number four spot, the Haunted Mansion Ghosts. Okay, guys, and then coming in at number three, I would love to have the Abominable Snowman in my collection. Now, the Abominable Snowman is, as well, a Disney Parks exclusive. And those are pretty tough to get unless, you know, you're, you're at the park. Sometimes they put them up online, but then again, they're still pretty hard to track down either way. And they have two different versions of the Abominable Snowman. One of them is just a regular one and the other is a flocked one. Uh, the regular one goes for, it looks like, $72. And then the other one, the flocked one, goes for $195. And now the reason that one's more expensive is because it's limited, looks like to a thousand pieces. And that was at New York City Comic Con. I just really think it's a really cool um, idea, like I said before, with the Haunted Mansion Ghost, having something tied in with theme park characters and putting them into pops. Um, but this one is found in the Matterhorn, Matterhorn bobsleds at Disneyland. There's a little Yeti that goes in there, or the Abominable Snowman, whatever you want to call him. But he's in that ride, and I just think it would be really cool to own him. So that's coming in at my number three spot. All right, guys, and then coming in at number two is a Toy Story pop, one of the original ones, and it is Emperor Zerg. I think that one would be really awesome to get a hold of somehow. It is currently going for $160. All those original Toy Story ones are pretty hard to find because they came out... I believe like shortly after they started doing pops sometimes in like 2011 or 2012 um but i honestly i like really all the disney villains and he was one of my favorite ones especially because he's pixar as well and i think it would just be a really one to to own to be quite honest with you um, my own right over there if you can see um is rex and ham so i have a couple of somewhat original ones but nonetheless i think that would be a really cool one to add and come in at number two Emperor Zerg. All right, guys, and then coming in at number one, it is an ad icon pop. Um, I have all my ad icon pops up here, but I'm obviously missing one, and it is Tony the Tiger. Now, this guy is going for insane prices right now. I think it went up due to the fact that um, Toucan Sam came out, and that was a pretty big 
uh, pop on the Funko Shop and everything, so that's why the price of the other cereal pops went up as well. Um, but he's coming in at $400, and they also have a flocked version that's around like $300 as well. And they're both limited pieces um, as well. I believe the flocked one's $2,000, and the regular one is $3,000. Um, but I honestly missed out. It, it came up at a time that I really wasn't serious into collecting. I could have got it. I saw that it went live, but I didn't pick it up and I kind of regret that I did not at the time. But that would be coming in my number one spot because I love all those ad icon pops and the cereal, one, cereal ones. And I think it would just add an awesome part to the collection. So coming in at number one, Tony the Tiger. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for my top five most wanted Funko Pops. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different other ones that I wanted to get, but those were my top five that came to mind. Um, a couple that I just thought of, like right after I started, stopped filming this, was Steve from Stranger Things, the SDCC one. So that would probably be another one that I could have added to the list. But regardless, those are the top five that I most want. Let me know in the comments below what some of your most wanted Funko Pops are. Um, I'd be interested to know. There's a lot that are hard to get a hold of or some that you know came out that weren't at a time when a lot of people were collecting. But let me know in the comments below what some of your most wanted Funko Pops are. As well, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I currently have a giveaway going on right now with an Instagram user by the name of Brad's Graphs. Um, we're giving away two Stranger Things Pops, so if you guys want to enter that, there's still a couple of days to go ahead and do that. So just go ahead and follow the description right up here for the video. Go ahead and watch that if you haven't already, and go ahead and enter that giveaway. Um, you guys are the best. If you want to send anything to me, um, P.O. Box description will be right here and in the description below. It'd be really awesome, and I love getting mail from you guys. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching again. Be sure to always be kind to one another and promote positivity. And I will see you in the next video.